best African player that you've played with? <sighs> best African player. Um, I have to say Mo Salah, I think. Right? It's tricky though, isn't it? It's very you've tricky. I mean, yeah, you look at Sadio, you look at someone like Yaya Torre and, and, and people like that. Um, I mean, I'm probably forgetting a, a, a few as well. Um, Lucas Radebay, what yeah. a player. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing loads, but I think obviously Mo, you look at what he's done here and what I'm sure he'll continue to do is incredible. Who's the best African footballer you've played against? Oh. Um, again, I'm probably missing a few. I would say Drogba was always a handful. You know, when you, when you played against him, you knew you were going to be in, in for a big test and physical and scored some worldly goals. So he was probably up there. I wonder up against Yaya as well when you left City whether that was a, a different challenge because he, he changed over the years, didn't he? Yeah, Yaya was, you know, when he got on one of those bursts going forward, you, you couldn't stop him, could you? Um, you know, it was like a train and he'd, he'd drive forward. Um, so he, he, he was incredible, really, on the drive forward, but it was hard work for us for probably the 30 or 40 seconds it took him to recover and come <laughs> back. It was hard for us not to then do his defending for him. Who's the one African player that you wish you could have played alongside? Um, George Weyer, maybe, I think. Obviously, watching Italian football growing up and, and, and you know, he's got a few worlders, didn't he? So he's, he's probably one. Do you have any aspirations to go into coaching once your playing career is over and how much longer do you think you can go on playing football for? Um, yeah, how long I don't know. I just want to keep going and as long as I can and see see how long I can play for coaching. I'm doing my badges, um, so we'll see where that goes. Um, so obviously doing those with the, with the younger guys here and, and and that's interesting and looking at it from that different side. You're known to be one of the fittest players at Liverpool, and the Commonwealth Games just ended, which was broadcast on SuperSport. Which of your teammates would excel in the following disciplines? Weightlifting. Weightlifting, Joe Gomez, he, the leg weights he does and like he does, you see the bar, once he's been doing a session it's ridiculous, so Joe Gomez. That sounds like an easy start. Long jump? Long jump, I think Ibu has the highest jump, so I'm guessing he's probably got the longest jump as well. Yeah? I would think so, yeah, I'd say uh, Ibu. Lawn balls? Ooh, lawn balls. Wow. Um. We'll probably go one of the keepers, and I reckon they like a roll out there. So we'll go, um, we'll go Queevy. I'd like to see Queevy playing long balls. <laughs> Perfect. Synchronized swimming, which obviously you need a pair for. Um, let's go Jota and Robbo because look pretty similar, similar skin complexions, and um, yeah, I think they'd be synchronized pretty good. Perfect. Uh, Ten thousand meter race. Um, they'll probably have to be me. Yeah. Yeah. For the reasons that we've explained over the yeah. course of the last 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, if the entire goalkeeping department was injured and one outfield player had to step in, who would get the job done? Again, me. I'm the only, that's the only position I need to play, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> you've done well. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the only true. one I need to take off. Um, you've played almost every position in football field during your career. What was the hardest one to play and why? Oh, um, probably fullback is the hardest just because I don't like it so um, <laughs> yeah it's always easier to play somewhere you enjoy playing I suppose but I think I think full back if you're coming up against a tricky winger and, and sometimes you know you get those spells in games where it feels like there's three or four guys on your side um, but it can also be one of the best fullback in terms of you know when you, your team's got the ball and you've got that freedom and up and down and you get plenty of the ball so I, I, I would say it could be the, the toughest centre half's easy so I don't let Verge tell you any different Last one. Can you share some insight around working with Jurgen Klopp and what makes him so special? Um, I think probably the gaffer, what you see is what you get, which is, you know, sometimes you don't get that. You get one person in front of the camera and someone different. I think, um, you know, his, his energy around the job, um, you know, his, his experience and knowledge he has, the way he puts things across. Um, I think when you see, see his aggression and his energy on the sideline, I think that... That, that helps you push through in games, you know, that it's infectious and, um, you know, he's, he's a good guy to be around. He's, he's very good at 
preparing for games and preparing the team for games and knowing outside influences what might be going on in the players' minds in terms of the situation the team's in at that moment in time or if there's been a long travel in or something's not gone quite right, he'll nip it in the bud straight away and say, this isn't an excuse, you know, we're going into this game and, and, and puts it out. So I think looking at all factors around the game is very, very good at that and preparing the, the team. Thank you, James. Cheers. 